guys, Steve here. As always, got my girlfriend, Brandlin. So. She'd be my Uber driver today. <laughs> also today, we got Katie with us. Hey. So right now, we are currently on our way over to this place called Buck Cemetery. Now, there's some rumors about this guy named Buck and why they named this cemetery after him. One of them was he was either a horse thief or he was a groundskeeper who actually took care of the tombstones. Now, not only did he take care of the tombstones, he hung himself inside the cemetery. And we have to go down a mile long stretch of dirt road just to get to these gates. So if you guys are ready for this adventure, we will continue when we get there. See you then. What's up guys? So we just made it over here to the Buck Cemetery. Check this out guys. Look at this gate that they got blocking everybody off from going back there not that it makes any kind of difference though because you can actually either go around it that way or over on that side which that side's a little bit easier but tell me if that ain't creepy guys like look at that once we go around look at that dark path through the woods that we actually have to go to to get to the cemetery is that not creepy or what so let's go up, go up the side and go off. start this journey guys they yeah. actually said uh, there used to not be a gate there. You used to be able to drive all the way back there. And then once you got to the hill, <coughs> the car would shut off and it would not turn back on. Oh. That's creepy one, guys. They also say that when you walk back here, a lot of people said that when they did go back here, they actually seen bodies hanging from the trees so if you guys see any of that definitely comment down below and let us know burger is cold oh and they said while you're walking down here through this path if you see an eerie light You'll see an eerie light before you actually get to the cemetery, and then the eerie light disappears. So keep an Ooh. eye out on that, you guys. It's going to be creepy, guys. Uh, it literally looks like a black hole. It's like we're it about does. To walk I mean, even in the hole. camera, it does. <laughs> Yeah, that when we get up in here, we're gonna actually try to see if we can see Buck's tombstone. So hopefully it's in plain sight, so we ain't looking forever. Yeah, it kind of looks like it used to be a driveway to the stone. Yeah. And then after a while, the grass kind of grew. I can't even imagine driving through here at night. <laughs> I don't want to be scared. It's creepy. already creepy enough. So look at that, guys. The car coming. See something? No. I know I'm freezing. <laughs> and I'm like wearing like three layers of clothes. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're supposed to technically be back here at night time. So we are doing this definitely to you guys. Um, so if we do dip out in the woods, it's because we see a car or a person walking, or hopefully not a spirit, because this place is supposed to be haunted. Look at that, guys. Is that creepy or not? That is nuts. And we are now entering the actual woods. And it's so cool. It is bad out there. You see it? Is that somebody staying in there? Oh, I hope not. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know what the most spirits or actual humans. <laughs> this is dark. Sorry, thought I heard something. That's creepy. What is that? Guys, I don't know what it is. 
but Braylon always has her way to take me to these spots <laughs> that are creepy out in the middle of the woods. Just like when we did that Okie Pinocchio. Like, talk about freaky. Like, I've been scared, but that topped everything. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, oh guys, check that out. Wow, that's pretty neat, though. Yeah. That's old. Look at that, guys. Let me know if you guys see anything. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Is that right. water? Looks like it. Looks like a creek, guys. Kind of dried up, though. You guys see anything standing out in these woods? Definitely let us know. Because a lot of times we'll still miss stuff after we edit the videos. What is this? Oh, this is an actual uh, chain or whatever rope. Yeah. That they had. Look how long this goes, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sound like something was moving over here when you pulled that. Really? Yeah. Well, Alright, guys, we're gonna finish walking through this path, and when we get to this cemetery, we'll start this video back up to you. Alright, guys, we just made it. To the tombstones and the cemetery. Check this out. Let me the Guys, this is spooky. Like, literally, all you have around you is woods, and that's it. And a whole bunch of noise you'd be hearing. <laughs> Let's find but do you guys dare us to uh, use the spirit box here? Ooh, now, now she's trying to bring out the spirit box already, guys, <laughs> on, on a cemetery that is known and actually people seeing stuff to prove that it's haunted. Ooh, I wonder if that one's it. Let's check this one out because they said that he did hang himself in this uh, cemetery. I, know, I, I wonder what tree. Oh, see that? Wait, shh, shh, shh. Hearing things? I, now you're about to give me a heart attack. I heard something almost sounded like, you know, a pig snorting. <laughs> like, like the. Did you hear it almost sound like someone walking through leaves? Man, you guys must have some crappy hearing. <laughs> Dude, that, I'm already freaking for, myself right? out. Yeah. They get to hear what I don't hear. And hopefully they see something that we don't see. That'd be awesome. Look at that, guys. I mean, it's being not a very on, big cemetery either. No, I mean, but they got... I mean, a there's a lot, lot of old ones in here, guys. Yeah. Let's see if that's... Uh, name is on this one. It's weird how it's just the only one by the tree. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Don't even really say nothing on it unless it's, you know, it's just that wore out. Yeah, it's really worn out. Yeah, big time. But it doesn't look like it says Buck. What does it say? kind of looks like pull, pull your Pull your light away from there. Yeah, it won't even get it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you can't really see it, guys. See any bodies <laughs> hanging from the it, tree? It don't look like it says buck, though, guys. Yeah, if you guys see anything, because, like I said. This tree's so creepy. If I see a body hanging from a tree, I'll probably have to run and change my underwear at the same time. <laughs> I ain't doing the laundry, either. <laughs> So guys, we're gonna uh, continue going inside the middle of all these tombstones. Sorry guys, in the middle of talking, my camera just like completely just shut off. So hopefully I don't do it again. But anyways, we're gonna go inside here and see if we can find fucking tombstone. There's a lot more over there by the tree. Yeah. Should I call him out? <laughs> Be nice about it. 
Hey Buck, if you're here, could you give us a sign? We're not here to cause you no harm. You can come in and talk inside my camera too if you want. If you want to tell anybody anything. We heard that you hung yourself here, is that true? I mean, could you could even show yourself inside my camera here. We are hearing sounds all over the place. Right when I, especially when I said that. Yeah. I'm thinking it was that tree that he hung himself in. What do you guys think? I don't know. Comment below. <laughs> Man, it's pretty it's tall. It's hard to say because there's so many trees here, but there's only like but you, you, four you, trees. You see what's the weird part? You see that branch, that lower branch that's coming out right there? Yeah. You see how some of the bark's missing? Like somebody had a rope around it? <laughs> you see what I'm saying though? That's what it looks like. You're freaking me out. Oh no, the rest of the trees like that just look like that from back there. But I don't know. I mean, wouldn't that be? I mean, think about it. He could have hung himself right from that one. What if we seen like a random rope just hanging from there? <laughs> <laughs> It's sad that he's done that. Yeah. But it's even scarier. I mean, he had his reasons, you know. I mean, not that that's the take your own life, but he must have been depressed or something or on the run. Figured it was the easy way out. Yeah. Which feel very bad for the families that actually had somebody suicide. Yeah. It's just very, very sad. Look at this, guys. This shows you how old this cemetery is. If I can even get a good picture in there. But anyways, that says 1935, guys. Ew, what is that? Uh, uh, hornet's nest or whatever they're called. These? Yeah. I don't see bucks yet. No. Look at that, guys. It's old ones, man. You can't even barely yeah, even read them anymore. Broken off, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a middle finger for a second sticking up. <laughs> it looks like it. I'm like, that's not very nice. Mm. Simon Fines. 78 years old, 5 months, 8 days. Oh, wow. From... August 19, 1893. You hearing something? Yeah, you just get bad vibes like somebody's watching you. And I, you hear like almost like somebody walking in leaves. Listen. Every time I tell you to listen, it stops. <gasps> Ooh, this one's scary. It's like, kind of reminds you of the tombstones that people have in their uh, yards for yeah. Halloween. That's Makes sad. you wonder, though, how those actually break. Oh, I was like, what is that? Well, you gotta think, that's like decades and decades ago. Yeah, I know. I wonder what year it says. I only see June 30th. Mm -hmm. That's sad, though. I know. I wonder if they actually replaced the one where they broke it, put new ones. I mean, don't look like it, how old they are. Right there, you think they broke? What one? Huh? No, uh, the one over there in front of that big one kind of looked like it was broke. Buck! Show us a sign. You can come talk to us, buddy. We're not here to cause no harm. More or less trying to get answers. You think you can be the one to answer them? Look at all these broken ones. Look at this. It kind of looks like one of those uh, family ones where they're built up. Uh, the buildings. Yeah. Or they didn't actually have... Well, I don't know. Look at this stump, though. Yeah, like she said, look at that, guys. I'm sure you guys know what we're talking about. They're the buildings where they put the families in. 
instead of burying them in ground. I'm getting like a really, really bad vibe. Yeah. And it's like cold out, but it feels like I'm even colder than I was earlier. You see Buck's tombstone? Yeah. Oh, we didn't check over there. We're Let's look like at this fascinated one. Fascinated by the tombstone. Oh my God! Look how old that one is. Guys, 1821. They born in. Died in 1892. At least he lived a lot, I mean, pretty good years. What's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? Nothing freaking. <laughs> Brainless. Freaking birds. Wait a minute, what's that? You see that? See that reflection? Look, look at that red. What is that? You see it? I can see it in the camera now. Is that a pole? I don't want to go into the woods. It's already scary. Oh yeah, that's a pole with reflector tape. That's just kind of weird just having right there. I know. Fuck. Hey buddy. Can you throw a stick or something or make some noise in the woods? I feel like it's 10 times colder back here. It is. That's what I said. Okay, guys, I don't know. When we were up front before we even came back here, like, I mean, it's chilly out because, you know, we live in Ohio, so we do get, you know, bad weather. But, uh, it wasn't as bad until we actually got in the cemetery. Now my hands are, like, so cold, it's unreal. There's brain Lynn. And guys, we, before we, and guys, before we do leave, we are probably gonna do a spirit box by Buck's tombstone when we do find it. Oh wow! Look at that, guys. Like Why did die to look like that? And there's not only one. There's two. Yeah, that was weird. Sorry, guys. There's a lot of bugs out here trying to attack the light on, on ca camera. Look at Katie. Oh. Found Buck. We gotta go, Kate. This Look at that, guys. Newer though. John, February 1810, August 1868. Catherine. I'm gonna dim the light a little bit so I can talk to you guys. So since we found Buck's tombstone, guys, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hand the camera off to Brandon. I'm gonna get the spirit box ready. I'm gonna set the spirit box when I get it going on top of Buck's tombstone. See if we can get some answers. Appreciate it. You might want to turn the camera up a little bit. I know he's a little crazy. Kind of a little few three. You might want to click the light uh, three times. Make it brighter. <laughs> Our battery is already dying. I know, I've seen that. Well, let's change it first. And then do it? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, we're going to change, we're going to uh, go ahead and change the batteries in the camera. Make sure they're all good. So we will be right back when we do so. All right, you guys, we got our batteries changed out. Let's yeah, get it rolling. That, guys. Every, every time we go to a place, we got to change them because it's either, it seems like somebody's draining them or something, or they just, we forget completely about changing them. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. You and me both. I think I'm. I jumped. <laughs> hey, hey, Buck, are you here with us today? If so, could you speak into this device that I have sitting on your tombstone? Could you come up to it and say hello? Was that a hello? I think so. 
We're not here to cause any harm, bud. We just came to visit you, see how you're doing. That sounds close. Yeah, it did. We heard that you hung yourself. That's very sad. Is that true? We're not here to bother you or anything. If we're bothering you, we are very sorry. But could you come and tell us? Could you say your name into this device, at least so we know they're here? Could you say your name, Buck? No. Did you hear that no? No what? He didn't want to say his name. Are you here haunting this cemetery? Are you still watching over these tombstones? Sound like a yeah. yeah. We're, we heard that you're a horseman. You actually guarded these tombstones. Is your wife here with the, uh, us too? Are we bothering you, bud? If you're here with us, standing by us, could you turn off my device here? Could you power it down? Shut it off? Oh, I got a good idea. We'll turn the light down. We'll do the flashlight thing. I heard that. Are you here with us, bud? I'm hearing noises everywhere. Could you come and talk to me? My name's Steve. What's your name? From his tombstone, no voices. Yeah. I said leave. Did it really? Yeah. Do you not want us here? Do you want us to leave? That one was clear as day, though. Yeah. Do you want us to leave? We just thought we'd come and visit you, that's it. This is Katie and Brandon with me. Would you like to say hi to them? <laughs> I shot it. <laughs> spirit inside the cemetery besides Buck that would like to come up and communicate with us or tell anybody in this device what you're thinking? There's flashing something new there. Did you hear that? It was like a thump. Yeah. Was that you, Buck? Did you hear that? That sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We know you're here, buddy. Sounds like someone's talking over there. Right in that corner where I seen something move. So he goes near it. Is he crazy or what? Nobody ever said I was smart. <laughs> Did you just say that on camera? <laughs> uh, no. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this kind of stuff. 
not only because we love to do it and we're born to live, but because we love doing this kind of stuff for you guys. Oh my god, look at this! You look like at this! What? Wipe you off. Go back over there. No, the way it's focusing out. Oh, I just got to be like lightheaded. You see that? Here, see if it does it to me. Here. Is it blurring me out? No. It is for you. What? Yeah. That's crazy. It's only on you. It's not blowing anything that, else out. That, that's the crazy part. Besides I, you. you know, I just put that on Buck's tombstone. I wonder if that's why. Did you see that? Though? Here, flip, flip, shed. Sign right in front of me. Let's see something. Guys, I don't know. This place is just way beyond creepy i mean on a scale you know between one to ten between pinocchi and this one i mean pinocchi's pretty bad i'd say Pino i'd nice. say pinocchi's probably first this one's probably second because i mean when we put this spirit box on buck's tombstone instantly we started hearing voices i took it off didn't hear nothing but while it was on his tombstone started hearing stuff like it's been thrown stuff dropped and there goes my speaker <laughs> but um we're gonna walk around a little bit longer guys and uh check out a couple more things hopefully we can catch some voices either on this camera or we caught some on this because that'd be awesome because we are out here trying to catch the unbelievable and i just heard some more noises i think it makes you feel like you're losing your mind a year in a loony yeah a loony from our bed so let's check out a couple more guys see what we can find here See, these ones are crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, 1847, guys. To 1914. Didn't even live that. That's I mean, a live... weird looking, uh, so I, so I kind of hope people don't come back here and, like, disrespect yeah, them. Yeah, break stuff like that. This one looks really new, like the, that one. Yeah. And then that one over Like there. newer. It's like this isn't as bright as it usually is. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It, because cause remember we put the used batteries in that, so we might oh, have to yeah. change them. What is that? <laughs> We're just doing justice. Look how dead that is. They planted it for somebody's tombstone. But yeah, can you imagine how old that thing is, though? That is creepy. That's like creepy. Yeah. You know how like you see in the movies like something very scary? Yeah. And everything looks really dead? Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> oh, these ones look like the ones that you see in our lives. The infants that die. But I wonder why they put this infant and they didn't Aww. Guys, I mean, there's some sad, sad stuff that can happen in the world. But when you actually have a child, you know. Losing it, I couldn't even Yeah, I mean, that, that's just, that, I couldn't even imagine being there's the parents, you know. Too living your life without something you brought into the world. Look at this. This one, too. I wonder Three of them. One. I think they're all family. Probably. See, that's a crazy why it just says infant, not, not in old Unless days. Unless it was unborn. Yeah. Well, it was born, but, but she... They just brought it back here because it wasn't... She lost that birth, probably. Yeah. Not even at birth, probably. Maybe halfway through, or, you know, miscarriage or whatever you call yeah. it. Yeah. So they didn't name it, maybe? Yeah. Pretty cool, guys. I mean, there's a lot of old, old history in here. Oh, do you guys dare? I just came up with an idea. Uh-oh. Walking back to the gates to turn the spirit back on. When we get to the gate? No. When we're going through the woods. Ooh. Did you hear that?
mostly were by ourselves. Yeah. And we're I don't think that spear box is a good idea. No. Yeah, maybe we won't do that on the way. <laughs> if we do, if we do. I'm still hearing it. It's like moving around us, I'm talking. Yeah, but it didn't start doing that. It didn't do that until we put the spear box up there. I know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I was hearing like something walking. But that was room. clear as day, too, that yeah, voice. Somebody just heard a random voice. I don't know. If it, she says it sounded like a guy. I'm not too sure. But I mean, it was like howling. And then, then like, you can hear a whisper. It's coming from there. I'm a little freaked out. Yeah. Did you hear that? Me too. I heard it again. Dude, that is somebody talking, a guy talking. Let's go. Guys, we're fucking freaked out right now. Yeah. There it is, guys. Bucks Cemetery. I'm gonna shine one last time. That way if we do catch something. So if you guys are ever around our area, be free feel free to drop a line. And maybe you guys can go on an adventure here with us. Check it out yourself. And also focus. I don't know, that, that voice is freaking me out. Yeah. Let's get it, guys. I feel weird after being here. Yeah, I know. Like, not a bad vibe. No. Just like a very weird thing. Yeah, and I mean, now we're hearing voices. I told you I was hearing something when we first got here. Every time that bridge freaks me out. It's the first time, and then it's like. Look at that, guys. That is just that, this is crazy. Like you guys definitely, if you guys are out by us, should definitely come check out Buck Cemetery. Not to mention Okie Pinocchio. And definitely go there at nighttime if you guys want the scare of your life. <laughs> More like shit your pants. Your yeah. Life. Like I didn't have to go poo poo until I went there. <laughs> You're supposed to, when you walk down this uh, path too, guys, when you're about to get to the cemetery, you're supposed to, like, uh, on your way through this path, see a uh, eerie light that's supposed to, like, pretty much disappear when you get up there. But I didn't see it. Maybe you guys did. I think Brandon's a little freaked out. I feel like I'm seeing things. I, <laughs> seeing things, hearing things. Like I, I said, like you always manage to get me out in the woods somehow. Sounds like somebody's walking behind us. Yeah, it does. And we definitely know there's nobody back there. 
If you're trying to follow us, you are not allowed to follow us. You are not allowed to leave with us. You must stay here. Did you hear that? I don't know, this is freaky. Yeah. Right when we set the box tombstone, I think that was a bad idea. Yeah. I was like, what is that? But I think that's the gate. Yeah. It seems so far away, you guys. I feel like... Sounds, sounds like somebody's trying to follow us. I feel like every place we go, we gotta walk like through it. <laughs> well, us. Guys, I think I start, I'm starting to see the gate up here, so thank God. <laughs> Whew. Talk about adventures. I want to do woo until we get to that gate. Yeah. <laughs> Always a... When you're walking down a dark path, always look behind you guys. Because you never know. Especially when you're hearing footsteps behind you. I mean, not to mention out in the woods, guys. But this place is out in the middle of the country. In the middle of nowhere. Down the creepiest road you have to drive to just to get to the gate. <laughs> I'm so excited Yay. to see that gate. <laughs> is that a car parked there? Or is that a... Is that a car parked out there? Is that a license plate? Yeah, that is. Uh-oh. Huh? I don't think it's a cop. Huh? You think it's a cop? I was telling we got stuck back here a little later than we thought. That is definitely a car. Guys, there's a car park, random car parked at this gate. That ain't creepy, I don't know what is. Alright guys, we hope you guys enjoyed this adventure with us. Guys, the camera turned off randomly by itself again, but we do hope you guys enjoyed this adventure with us. Pretty creepy. We're seeing, hearing weird noises back there. Voices talking. It sounds like stuff is getting thrown back there. We come back to the gate, random car just parked at the front of the gate which I don't want to shine the light over by it or else I'd show you guys kind of seeing it also me and Brandon would like to thank all the ones who have subscribed to our channel so far much love to all you guys and hope to see you on guys on most of our ventures with us I'm out of breath <laughs> but, but we do hope you guys enjoy most of the ventures with us we do have some pretty cool places we're going to be coming to in the in their future so hopefully you guys are there with us smash that like button hit that subscribe Comment below. Turn on your notifications so you get all our updated videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the venture with us. Until next time.